when it is a crime to love Buhari, Nigeria, and Igbo land, Joe Ibukwe. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Now the news in detail. There are millions of us around the country who follow Mohammed Buhari passionately. Some got enlisted in 1984 when the man was military head of state. Others joined along the line as the principal was chairman of the Petroleum Trust Front PTF in the General Sani Abacha years. Or when he joined partisan politics in 2002, ran for president a year later also in 2007, 2011 and 2015 when he eventually coasted to power. Now, it is not a crime... It is not a crime to love Buhari, Nigeria, and Igbo land. It is not. Except you are calling a spade a sparrow. That is when it becomes a crime. Except you are sugarcoating things now. Except that you are giving your speeches or you are speaking based on not facts but on assumptions. There are many things now that this supposedly um, politician now says that many of them are based on assumptions. How do you say you know so much about a particular place when you don't, you're not even in that region? You are in Lagos and you seem to make assumptions to the best of your knowledge you feel, maybe he might feel he might, he's saying the facts, things that are facts. But I tell you, those that are on ground in this said region now, that you keep saying things against, or you keep making assumptions on, those that are on ground will tell you that it is not how it is. That is just the truth. I do not know where he gets most of his information from, but I tell you, most of the things he says is assum is a are assumptions and he do he does not call white white he doesn't call it black he doesn't call what is white white that is just the truth he makes so many ad assumptions and for somebody of his uh, um nature now he's not supposed to if you want to be neutral be completely neutral if you want to stand with these people, you stand with them. But do not make assumptions. This thing happened and you are where you are. And you are pointing at your, your finger. You're pointing your finger at this particular group of people. Meanwhile, those on ground will tell you things are not like the way it is. But you don't listen. You do not. Over the years, some of the Buharists, as we are called, have fallen off. And even joined your position. Yet some others have stood steady, steady, resolute, as constant as a northern star. Stand up and take a bow, Engineer Joe Ibuque, the man from Newi in Anambra State. President Buhari is possibly the most credible politician we have seen in the country in contemporary times, with a magnetic pull that draws people to him in droves. That was a point I was making last week in, his, in this column, but which but which an illiterate journalist with an outline medium twisted to say I claimed Buhari was better than Oba Femi Awolowo, Namdi Azikiwe, Amin Okano, etc. He succeeded in his mission, generating hateful comments against me, but I leave him to God, for we shall all stand before the judgment seat of God to answer for what we have done, including all forms of lie against a fellow man. A profession of political and ethnic affiliations would no longer matter then. When it was not popular for people in the southeast to follow the progressive progressives, Ibukwe threw his hat into the ring. We were talking of Joe Ibukwe before the brief diversion. Yes, this man loves Buhari to beats. He loves Nigeria. He loves his native Igbo land. And you know what? That is now a crime in our country. Ibukwe's life has been severely and severely threatened. His family haunted. And on October 3rd this year, his country home in the Navy was set on fire. Ibokwe is a nationalist. His education, primary, secondary, and even university he had in the Southeast. But since he got posted for national service in Ogu State in 1985, he had remained in the Southwest identifying with the people, their politics, their ways of life. 
while not repudiating his love for his roots in Newi and the South is generally. No wonder he is popularly called Abalenze. After that, Onicha, Cultural Association. When it is not popular, it was not popular for people in the South East to follow the progressive. Ibuke threw his hat into the ring from Alliance for Democracy, AD, to Action Congress of Nigerians, ACN, to All Progressive Congress, APC. She stood to be counted. And if you count committed followers of Buhari today, the Abalanze is in the number. If there is anything you need to clarify about government or our principal, Ibokwe never hesitate to get in touch with me. I give him background information and he is satisfied. When some people from his part of the country begin to retreat into ethnic cleavages and wanted the intelligentsia to identify with them, the special advisor to the Lagos State Governor on Drainage and Water Resources made it clear that he was a nationalist and he stood by his conviction. Speaking out against separatism and an attempt to balkanize the country, at the risk of so much, he opted for one Nigeria. Ibuku loves Igbo land. Yes, don't we all love where we come from? Shouldn't we? We should. We must, before we can be good Nigerians, when strange things begin to happen in the southeast, people being decapitated, public buildings being touched, and security agents being murdered in cold blood. Ibuku stood against it. Mom was the word from majority of the leaders of the region, but for Ibokwe, the man dies in him. Who keeps quiet in the face of tyranny? He spoke out. He kept saying building bridges across the length and breadth of the country was the way to go, particularly for Igbo Renazians. He refused to join those who were retreating into ethnic cocoon and stood for nationalism. It is either Nigeria or nothing. The man earned my deep respect. He stood for what was right. Fair and just for centripetal rather than centrifugal forces in the country. You must take every part of the country from those who mean no good, concocting sorrow, tears, and blood. It is Nigeria or nothing. On October 3rd, I was in Ethiopia, and Mr. President, attending, attending the inauguration of the country's Prime Minister for second term in office, when we saw the sad news online. The regal country home of Ibokwe in the Navy, where the man often retires for solitude and where he had a vast library, had been set ablaze. Who done it? You know the answer. Unbridled hatred was on display and a patriot was paying a heavy price for his convictions. When that magnificent white has erupted in smoke and fire, it was innocent that was born in. Patriotism was a flame and love for his motherland was ablaze. The glory, O Israel, is slain upon the high places. Gladly, no life was lost because attackers could not lay hands on anyone. But great was the loss, and I sorrowed for my brother, Joe, and his wife. He calls her his crush, Dr. Grace. What happened is what evil speaking does to a country. The lies and hate peddled by evil hearts have germinated, grown, and brought forth evil fruits. You would expect a man who had been hounded, reviled, and attacked by arsonists to return ball for ball, hate for hate, threaten fire and brimstone, but not a Jew. What he did he say? On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.